I'm Drew Baggett. I'm from St. Augustine, Florida. Grew up on St. Simons Island, Georgia. That's where I started building boards and this is what I do, I build surfboards. So to build a cork board, we start with a large EPS, which is expanded polystyrene, is the phone that we use. We start with huge blocks and then I hot wire out rockers and that's like making a blank like what Clark Foam used to make. And then we take the blanks and we either shape them by hand with planers and sanders and, and hand shaping or we take them to a machine down in New Smyrna that cuts them, you know, to all the CAD computer automated designs and and uh, either way after it's shaped, the first thing we do is we glass a layer on the deck and this stiffens the board up and makes it so we know it's waterproof. And then we put carbon fiber frames on the boards. So what I use is a 13 ounce braided carbon fiber. It's actually aircraft grade carbon fiber where like a lot of the, a lot of the car hoods you see on, on the hot rod cars, those would be like a plain weave. But braided is, is really what you want to do for structural, you know, they don't use plain weaves at NASA, you know. So we use a braided carbon fiber. It's really expensive but it gives us the right flex and stiffness in the board. And so what we've done is we've moved the stiffness from the center of the board, like a traditional center stringer board where you're really standing on an I-beam and we move all that stiffness out to the rails. So now you can flex the center of the board out and we get a return on the energy that we put into the flex. Then after we put the carbon on, we grind it down. There's some prep steps that are kind of top secret and basically vacuum bag the cork, the layer of cork onto the board at that point. And so the cork has little porous in between each cork cell and the resin comes through the cork in the vacuum bag process. Then I sand the layer back off to leave the cork exposed or else then I'll glass over the deck from there. At that point, Basically, I've done all my my high tech secret kind of stuff, you know. And then it's like I made a really nice blank, and we glass it like a regular surfboard. Drew's kind of an amazing shaper, and he's been innovating surfboards for a long time. And now he's got something special, you know. Corkboard's sick, you know. Once people figure out how sick they are, it'll catch on, and everybody will want one. The deal with Loss is pretty cool because I get to build boards for a lot of the top athletes, you know, and. And Mason Ho and Chloe Andino are, are definitely two of my favorite surfers now, and um, got to build them some boards. And you know they like them, so we'll be doing more. But the lost things open it up to, you know, boards going to Japan and Australia, and a couple of these customs are going to the UK. And you know it's really really cool to work for those guys. You know it's, it's self satisfying. You know every board is is you get in here and at the end of the day I'm like oh I built something you know or I, I got some work done you know and I never leave thinking that I didn't didn't get anything accomplished in the day so it's really gratifying job you know I love it